Greetings, people of the galaxy. I am Zach, and welcome to ADHD. I expected episode 4 of season 2, titled The Siege, to be an offshoot episode. Filler, of sorts. And, well, it was not. What we were shown was perhaps the most important episode of The Mandalorian yet. So let's get into it. Obviously, there will be spoilers ahead, so be warned. Before we get into the huge revelations, I want to go over some minor things. Firstly, Mechanic Baby Yoda was hilarious. One of my favorite Baby Yoda scenes, no doubt. It also continues to prove that he does understand a decent amount of basic communication. Also, apparently showing a fourth of your face doesn't break the whole no living thing is allowed to see my face rule that Din follows. Good to see the group of Aqualish. I really enjoyed seeing so many classic Star Wars aliens in The Mandalorian. I think the sequel trilogy relied too heavily on new, obviously CGI aliens to sprinkle around in the background, probably because it was cheaper, but having real costumes and prosthetics just makes the universe feel much more realistic and believable in my opinion. Furthermore, I thought seeing the Galactic Elementary School was another cool, small thing that just makes the Star Wars universe feel, again, more genuine and real. I don't know how believable Grief Karga's full 180 from completely self-interested guild contract dispenser to benevolent mayor of Navarro is in this short amount of time, but it isn't a huge deal, I'm just nitpicking a little bit here. Okay, now for the big revelations. We literally see what looks like a failed Palpatine clone, and all but get confirmation that the doctor was trying to infuse a Palpatine clone with the blood harvested from the child back in season 1. The scientist also references midichlorians by instead saying M count. It seems that the child has a very high midichlorian count as well, which implies that his species may be naturally strong in the force, just as we all predicted. This is huge guys, because this is the first step toward making Palpatine's appearance in The Rise of Skywalker make some semblance of sense, even if I still don't like it. Back to some more minor things, but I thought all the screen wipes during the escape from the Imperial base were jarring. Wipes are good for scene changes, and I'm aware that they're a classic part of Star Wars, but I wouldn't really use them during these quick transitions like this episode did. They did it like five or six times, and I just thought it was too much. I loved the tank chase scene, the action was tense, the music was fantastic, and the effects looked great. Additionally, Din Djarin wasn't present for a chunk of this episode. I think it was easily the least amount of screen time he had in any episode so far. Maybe this is the beginning of what Favreau meant when he said he wanted the show to take a Game of Thrones-like approach, where it follows multiple characters at a time. This Imperial officer at the end could be Rey Sloan. She appears in a lot of the canon novels that have been released in recent years. She's a major player in the Empire post Return of the Jedi, and is a part of the transition to the First Order. And this is just pure speculation of course, but it would be awesome to have her in the show. And lastly, we see Moff Gideon in the flesh for the first time this season, and he appears to be inspecting... Dark Troopers? Dark Troopers, for the unaware, are elite infantry that could be deployed as both droids and used as exoskeletons in Legends. They are absolutely deadly machines of war that make super battle droids look like... not... super battle droids. Anyway, it seems that they've finally made their way into canon at last. This episode absolutely exceeded my expectations. It was a lot of fun and set up a whole lot of exciting things for the future. And next week we're probably going to get to see Ahsoka. So my friends, be excited. This has been a hell of a ride so far and I don't want to get off anytime soon. I grade this episode as an A, making it my highest graded episode of the season so far. But now I want to know what you think. Did you like this episode? Are you as hyped as I am? Or do I need to sit the hell down and chill out? Let me know in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe new videos every Wednesday as well as weekly episode breakdowns of The Mandalorian. I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the future.